everyone and welcome to a, another episode of Inspiring Careers. My name's Dan Johnson and I'm here today interviewing another award-winning guest uh, within the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, her name's Katia and she recently won the Clinical Trial Administrator of the Year, uh, of the Year Silver Award uh, for 2017. So one of the big things then is being able to demonstrate your ability to uh, adapt to some to unplanned work, um, something that's either urgent or just completely unexpected. Yeah. Um, could you give us a bit more kind of uh, insight into that? I mean, what, what kind of things um, are be, uh, can be unplanned and, and how do you go about tackling uh, such situations? So uh, how do you handle the unexpected? Well, um, there are many things that might just change um, in the CRO and pharma industry. For instance, the CTA um, supports either project managers or uh, CRAs, the monitors. So the monitor might have a change in the planned visits, might have an earlier visit. So you have to be prepared and support the monitor in just getting all the documents at site on time. So if you were planning to do it next week and it happens this week, mm. well, you have to be um, prepared and ready to either shift to schedule or if you're a good CTA, you plan in advance how many visits and just have the core documents ready so you don't lose much time preparing it. Or the project manager might have uh, urgent and special requests coming from the clients that you have to accommodate. Mm. So you just put aside the usual reporting or the invoice reconciliation because that can wait a couple of days and um, accommodate the requests from the client. What would you say, uh, what do you feel most passionate about this role? Or what, why do you enjoy this role so much? I have... I enjoy this work so much because um, if you think of it, it's about the patience. And sometimes we tend to forget it in our roles, in our jobs. We see numbers on the screen. Mm. We see randomization number. The patients are numbers. Um, but we have to remember that it's people we're talking about. Yeah. So it's people who are ill or have a rare disease or have a very common disease for which the uh, drugs come currently used don't work. Mm. So we're trying to find a way to help these people and that's uh, I think the main thing that makes me passionate about it. I feel that I can make a difference even if it's just filing a document but that document might be essential to get then uh, the drug approved and marketed and help people. And in some cases, I'm working on a rare disease now. It might even be life-saving because there's currently no drug available for that disease. So it's, if you think of it, it's really a kind of a mission, actually. Hmm. It's not yeah. just a passion. You just like a doctor. It's the closest thing to be a doctor without actually having a medicine degree. What do you think are your top three uh, success secrets to your career? Um, I think the first one would be uh, to always be curious. And uh, so um, I've always tried to get more insight on what I'm doing, not just in a zero uh, environment, but always on the protocols that I've worked on, the disease that I've seen. Mm. So I did a lot of extra research whenever I started a new trial. Um, what are the current medication for that uh, disease? Why is the new one we're testing different? And mm. how does it fit in into the market? Um, if there are any alternative treatments, anything around the disease, how the disease um, develops and what are the patients feeling and how can we help them. Mm -hmm. um, the second thing would be uh, to also aim high. I mean, <laughs> um, there are some people who just sit back and just do what they're asked. Yeah. I always try to ask for different things to be done and to learn from other roles, like the clinical trial manager, or the monitors, or even the PMs. Mm. Uh, so I always um, try to uh, learn how to be better and also learn what other people do in other roles. So try to have a complete um, set of skills, not just the ones that relate 
in this moment to my position right now. Uh, not just for future career, but it bounces back to the first point. Just be curious, yeah. um, try and, uh, and find out new things. And the third one is, um, it's a very silly one, but I found that it helped me. There are no stupid questions. I've always heard yeah. that, but it's actually true. So I've asked a lot of questions. Um, how to do something, how to, and then uh, I tried to find um, an improved way of doing the same things, um, mm. try and think a solution outside the box, but uh, always asking questions. But what would you say is the number one thing uh, that is holding other clinical trial administrators back um, in their career? Um, what's preventing them from, from being better CTAs? talking with my friends in the same position sometimes is also not feeling that you're worth enough or you can make a difference. Mm. Um, you can feel that the clinical trial assistant is just an assistant, is there just to do what they're told, but it's not like that. Mm. Uh, there are so many ways you can make a difference in your company and you just have to find the one that fits you best in yeah, this is this time right now and the place you're at. Yeah. Um, so just don't feel that you're not making a good enough job. Don't feel that you're stuck uh, in your daily routine. You can find different ways to do something different, learn something new. And yeah, if you're lucky, proceed in your career. But just don't feel that you're doing an assistant job and that's the end of it. You can't do anything beyond what you do in your everyday work. What is your final piece of career advice? What's the one and final thing you would like to say to any other clinical trial administrators who are currently watching this uh, video right now? Um, what advice would you have uh, for them in helping them with their careers? Um, I think that can be summarized in a saying, um, dress for the job you want, not for the job you have, which doesn't mean dressing up a Batman or a Catwoman. Uh, it means um, just decide what you want to do in your career and do everything you can to get you there. Hmm. Um, so, for instance, uh, I would like to become a project manager, uh, so I'd liaise with them, support them, um, try and get um, uh, delegated some of their tasks, yeah. do whatever it takes to get you where you want to go. Um, Katja, again, just thank you for uh, being a guest today. Um, please do like, subscribe, share or comment uh, if you're watching this video uh, and pass on the message of uh, that people are just delivering um, to help inspire others. Uh, about becoming successful in their careers. Uh, Katia, thanks again. Um, looking forward to seeing everyone on the next video. Um, and yeah, thank you very much. See you soon. Cheers, Katia. Thank you, Dan. Bye. Bye.